Hi, I'm Whitney Espick, the CEO of the MIT Alumni Association, and I hope you enjoy this digital production created for alumni and friends like you. I wish that I were back again at Tech from Wilson Street, just in my dinky uniform so dapper and so neat. I'm crazy after calculus, I never had enough. It was hard to be dragged away so young, it was horribly, awfully tough. Hoorah for technology, ology, ology, oh, glorious old technology, ology, ology, oh. Back in the days that were free from care in the ology varsity shop, with nothing to do but analyze air and add a magical top. The differentiation of the trigonometric powers, the constant pie that made me sign those happy days of ours. Hoorah for technology, ology, ology, oh, glorious old technology, ology, ology, oh. Take me back on a special train to the glorious institute. I yearn for the inspiration of a technological toot. I shun the quizzical, physical prop, the chapel, and all that. But how I'd love to go again on a scientific bat. Hoorah for technology, ology, ology, oh, glorious old technology, ology, ology, oh. M A S S A C H U S E T T S. I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E-O-F-T-E But C-H-N-O-L-O-G-N-Y comes after G And what does that spell? The Massachusetts Institute of Technology Hey! Good evening, fellow alums, and welcome to the Leadership Awards celebration at the MIT Alumni Leadership Conference. As the final lines of Take Me Back to Tech echo in our ears, some of you may be humming a different tune, like Take Me Back to an in-person award ceremony. And I hear you. One of the great pleasures of this event has always been the opportunity to network face-to-face -face with our alumni friends and associates. But if there's anything the past year and a half has shown us, it's that we should all be extra careful right now when it comes to networking face-to-face. -face. And right now, with the coronavirus still a public health concern, science is telling us no. As a result, this is, for the second year in a row, a virtual event. But there's nothing virtual about the awards or the accomplishments of those who have earned them. And there is nothing more fervent than our wish that we'll all be together next year to present and receive our awards in a 3D shared space without the aid of VR headsets. In explaining his rationale for founding MIT, William Barton Rogers stressed the interconnectedness of science, how each new innovation or discovery multiplies the lines connecting scientific disciplines and industries. The same could be said about MIT alumni. Each new graduate provides a new point of intersection connecting disciplines, industries, nations, generations, communities, and cultures. Here at the MIT Alumni Association, we're all about forging and strengthening those connections for the benefit of our alumni community and our alma mater, and for that matter, the world. Those connections don't happen by themselves. They require enthusiasm, dedication, conscientiousness, and generous contributions of time and energy from many, many people. And when an MIT volunteer fulfills those requirements to an extraordinary degree, we honor them for their efforts with an MIT Alumni Association Award. So let's get right to it. Here to present our first award is an MIT Alumni Association board member and member of the MIT class of 78, Elaine Harris. Thank you, Annalisa. The name Lobdell is familiar to anyone who's eaten in the eponymous dining hall or attended a function on one of the Lobdell balconies in the Stratton Student Center. Harold Lobdell earned those permanent memorials on the MIT campus by virtue of a 42-year career at the Institute that included everything from publications to fundraising to the Dean's Office to alumni relations. Years ago, Technology Review described him as a man soaked and steeped with tech tradition and spirit. In other words, Lobby was just the kind of guy after whom you'd name an award for deep and sustained service to the MIT Alumni Association and the Institute. And Lobby would no doubt be thrilled to know that seven MIT alumni have been deemed Lobdell worthy in 2021. 
Let's meet them now. Our first recipient is the owner of a company called Engineering for Kids. So you know she cares deeply about STEM education and keeping the future MIT student pipeline filled. She's brought that same commitment to the MIT Club of San Diego for more than 15 years, and she's been an EC for 16 years. Marula S. Bratakos, class of 93, MN 95. There's no better metaphor for highly coordinated effort and achievement than the sport of crew. For the past 15 years, he's been an integral teammate of the MIT Crew Alumni Association and its board of directors, and the driving force behind the Crew Alumni Bulletin. Mark A. Fendice, class of 81. How's this for commitment? 35 straight years as class president. And that doesn't even include her long record of volunteer work locally, nationally, globally, and personally as an EC, a valued member of the Alumni Association Board, Inga Ghetto, class of 85. Look at the activities of the MIT Club of South Texas over the past two decades, and you'll see the Texas-sized influence of this volunteer everywhere, from the club presidency to his current role as VP of Communications, publishing a bi-weekly newsletter. David H. Johnston, class of 73, PhD 79. She's not only a volunteer and a leader, she's a passionate advocate who's been an officer of multiple MIT clubs and a dedicated EC. Her service as chair of the Alumni Association Program Committee was transformational. And she's the co-moderator of the 4,000 plus member alumni Facebook group, Women Backing Women. Yolanda Lau, class of 02. A key aspect of alumni service is forging local connections. Among other achievements, he's led his Hartford Club to be a sponsor of the Connecticut Science Fair, Invention Convention, and Science and Engineering Colloquium for Teachers, a go-to guy in Connecticut, Henry J. Link, Class of 67. Her dedication to MIT is matched by her tireless commitment to diversity and the support of Black and Latinx students and alumni. A leader of BAMIT, the Black alumni and alumni of MIT, a major driver of the Blacks at MIT History Project, and student mentor, she generously contributes her time and many talents. Nellie A. Rosario, class of 94. Seven great alums, soaked and steeped with tech tradition and spirit. Our 2021 Lobdell Award winners. Congratulations to all of our Lobdell Award honorees. As staff director of the annual fund for 26 years, Henry B. Kane was instrumental in raising $11 million for the Institute. That would be well in excess of $120 million today. Pretty impressive. But Henry was much more than just a fundraising phenom. He was also a marvelous illustrator of books about nature, including an edition of Henry David Thoreau's The Maine Woods. This year's recipients of the Henry B. Kane 1924 Award show that same prodigious talent and drive, plus their own artistic flair in delivering exceptional service in fundraising. Our first Kane Award recipient has shown a remarkable adeptness for setting and achieving ambitious goals, crafting fundraising strategies, and tailoring appeals. Among her many successes, this led to a 15th reunion gift campaign record of over $10 million. A former member of the MIT 10 and MISTI fundraising committees, Nasheed I. Jamal, class of 05. 
Like clockwork, every five years since her 15th reunion, our next honoree has been a part of our class gift committee, including acting as co-chair, 24-hour challenge ambassador, class fundraising agent, and much, much more. Currently a member of the Corporation Development Committee, Kathleen L. Mulroney, class of 80. No one gets his volunteers more motivated to reach new reunion giving heights than this honoree, and the results say it all. His work on his 20th reunion gift committee led to a new dollar record of $7.3 million and the class's highest renewal rate ever. Dominic A. Ricci, class of 99. In 2019, the MIT Club of Hong Kong had a new fundraising idea, a 24-hour micro-challenge. It was so successful, it's been repeated every year since. The volunteer who helped to launch it also showed his deep compassion by working with other clubs in his region to purchase and ship $100,000 worth of much needed PPE for Boston area healthcare workers during the pandemic. David W. Wu, class of 90. Just as Henry Kane was a master artist, our Kane Award winners are masters of the gentle art of teaching the joy of giving. Congratulations to them all. Bronze is a very interesting medal. As the first man-made alloy, it ignited a major leap forward in the development of civilization, commerce, material science, and art. Some of the most enduring treasures of our ancient past are bronze objects crafted more than 6,500 years ago. It's no coincidence then that the Alumni Association's highest award is cast in bronze. Just as the development of bronze affected all facets of life, our Bronze Beaver Award recipients are noteworthy for their wide-ranging activities on behalf of the Alumni Association and the Institute. Like its namesake alloy, the Bronze Beaver Award represents an enduring achievement with far-reaching impact. Throughout this evening, we will be presenting the Bronze Beaver Award to three remarkable people. It says something that our first honoree was a member of the Women's Varsity Fencing Team and the MIT Sailing Club. Excelling at either sport requires a keen ability to parry and thrust or jibe and tack to seize an advantage. With that background, it makes sense that our honoree became interested in political science and that she has rendered such effective volunteer service to her alma mater. As a life member of the MIT Corporation, she chaired both the Visiting Committee for Political Science and for Undergraduate Education. She also served on the Corporation Joint Advisory Committee the Executive Committee, and Visiting Committees for the Libraries, Chemistry, and Linguistics and Philosophy. A role model, a skilled leader, and a tremendous advocate for the Institute and its community, it's my great pleasure to present the Bronze Beaver Award to a life member emeritus of the MIT Corporation and someone whose friendship I deeply value, Edie N. Goldenberg, Class of 67. Congratulations, Edie. It's only appropriate that we should segue from Edie's award to one that honors her former MIT roommate. Who will be the alumni volunteer leaders of the future? The answer to that question can be found in the recipients of the Margaret L. A. McVicker Award. To have your name associated with Margaret McVicker is an extraordinary honor. As former President Paul Gray said, she possessed a remarkable combination of ability, insight, judgment, and energy, which is rare in any generation. Just the kind of qualities we look for in the award named for her. The future of the Alumni Association is clearly in good hands, as we have an impressive eight award recipients this year, eight people who have shown exceptional innovation, dedication, and meaningful impact in their volunteer work. Let's meet them. First up is a volunteer who has worked tirelessly to increase MIT's Black admitted students. His meticulously designed volunteer training sessions enabled his team of 56 volunteers to deliver an incredible record high acceptance rate of admitted black students to date. A champion of individual engagement, Keith V. Bevins, class of 95, MNG 96. 
The flame of MIT burns brightly in Brazil because of our next honoree's work as president of the country's Sloan Club. She ensures that the club provides strong and varied programming, and she helped create the club's MIT Alumni Angels program. A frequent contributor to club and affinity group calls Maria Alice Frontini, SM99. Fraternities and sororities have long been vital parts of MIT's heritage. That heritage was in jeopardy last year when COVID forced all FSILGs to shut down. As chair of the Association of Independent Living Groups, our next award recipient took the lead in managing the process, working to maintain the financial well-being of the FSILGs and developing a plan for reopening. No one has worked harder than Akil J. Middleton, class of 08, SM 10. For our next honoree, enhancing the visibility of the LBGT plus and Latinx communities at MIT is vitally important. And he's proved it. Serving as the president of the MIT Bisexual, Gay, Lesbian, and Transgender Alumni Affinity Group. He's also worked on the MIT Educational Council and mentored dozens of students and alumni in career development. A guest lecturer at MIT Sloan, Guadalupe Hayes Mota, class of 08, MBA 16, SM 16. Our next award winner is everywhere. As a member of the MIT 10 committee, co-president of the Club of San Diego, coach for the Community Catalyst Leadership Program, and educational counselor. A volunteer of strong commitment and unbounded energy, Katia D. Paramanova, class of 13. Some people, like our next honoree, are so eager to support MIT that they join the Educational Council as soon as they graduate. Her enthusiasm has led her from EC Vice Chair for the Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology to the MIT Club of DC's Grads of the Last Decade Chair to Educational Council Vice Chair for all of Northern Virginia. Desi J. Provenzano, class of 11. When an MIT student chairs a senior gift campaign that gets a participation rate of 86%, you know it's someone special. Since graduating, she's been active in the MIT 10 class gift committee, focusing on event planning and promotion. She's a member of the MIT Alumni Association Board, and she's hosted events and championed the MIT 24-hour challenge. Taylor M. Rose, class of 16. The combination of strategic thinking and unbridled enthusiasm is hard to beat. We saw that when our next recipient joined her 25th reunion gift committee. Among her achievements were personally soliciting 50 classmates, sending over 120 outreach messages, and achieving a 60% gift rate. Stella B. C., class of 94. One of Margaret McVicker's core beliefs was that every individual student matters. This year's winners of the McVicker Award proved that every MIT volunteer also matters and can make a major impact. Congratulations to them all. No organization is more vital to the future of MIT than the Educational Council. To be successful, Members have to possess great interpersonal skills in working with prospective students while meeting the highest standards of achievement and professionalism. Those that do become the recipients of the George B. Morgan 1920 Award. The award is named after one of MIT's first ECs, a guy with an unusual method of screening prospective students. He'd like to take them for a drive in his Cadillac hurtling across East Texas at 90 miles per hour. This year's winners have different, but no less effective approaches. Our first recipient is the regional chair of Orange County, California, where he's assigned 70 educational counselors to more than 400 applicants. On top of that, he served recently as an EC representative to the MIT Club of Southern California, recruiting 100 educational counselors to help handle an unprecedented surge in applicants. Yaron Hoffman, class of 97. 
A 20-year Educational Council veteran, our next honoree interviewed 45 early action applicants and 14 regular action applicants this year. She's even helped outside her assigned San Francisco region by interviewing overflow applicants across the US and Canada. Susan L. Caton, class of 78. Our next recipient is approaching three decades of service as an educational counselor. He's been the regional chair for the Chicago region for a decade, overseeing 100 counselors, recruiting new counselors, and working with nearly a thousand applicants this year. Alex Menchaka, class of 85. She joined the Educational Council in 1999, immediately following her graduation, and she's been at it ever since. Currently vice chair of the extremely busy Peninsula subregion in San Francisco, this year, she assigned ECs to 200 early action and 182 regular action applicants. She was also instrumental in making the new EC office portal a success in 2020. Margaret Tsai Shen, class of 99. The greater Seattle area is one of the busiest regions in the country. Our next recipient oversees 130 ECs this year assigning them to interview 250 early action and 307 regular action applicants. On top of that, she helped bring the new EC portal online in 2020. Next year will mark her 10th year on the Educational Council. Stephanie H. Yang, class of 99. Five people who make the Educational Council run smoother and faster than George's caddy our 2021 Morgan Award winner. It's now my privilege to present the Bronze Beaver Award to a person who's all about service. She's not just a volunteer, she's an advocate for MIT, moving issues forward and taking on the tough jobs. She has served on the Corporation Development Committee for nearly 20 years, four years on the Annual Fund Board, and more than 20 years on the visiting committee for electrical engineering and computer science. So significant was her service on that visiting committee that she was asked to become a member of the corporation nominating committee, where she served as chair in 2013 and put forth some great nominees, including many women. On top of all that, she served as the president of the MIT Alumni Association in the academic year 2021 one of the most challenging years this organization and the Institute have ever faced. And as provost, I've been very fortunate to work with her in her many roles at MIT. A life member of the MIT Corporation since 2013, she can now add the Bronze Beaver Award to her many laurels. Please join me in honoring Charlene C. Katzenel, class of 79. Thank you, Charlene, for your incredible service. The value of collaborative action is enshrined in the MIT seal. Think about it. Has there ever been a more perfectly matched team than MENS and MANAS? Without well-coordinated team action at MIT, we wouldn't know that the Harvard Bridge measures 364.4 smoots plus one ear. And we certainly wouldn't have seen an MIT campus police car perched atop the Great Dome. Perhaps that's why we named our award for distinguished service by alumni organizations, the Great Dome Award. It celebrates outstanding achievements in collaborative action. Let's meet this year's winning teams. 2019 marked the 120th anniversary of the Association of MIT Alumni and AMITA's archive committee was not about to let that anniversary go uncelebrated. A team of dedicated alumni worked tirelessly to turn 150 years of alumni history into an informative online exhibit, and then integrated the content into the MIT AA Encompass platform. With the Great Dome Award, we recognize this historic achievement by the AMITA Archive Committee. 
The black alumni of MIT had a brilliant idea in 2018 to help build a better world by connecting MIT students of color with underserved communities. Thus, the BAMIT Community Advancement Program, or BCAP, was launched. Supported by fundraising by BAMIT volunteers, BCAP fellows are already making a difference, completing public service projects in communities of color around the world. We salute the hard work and dedication of the BAMIT BCAP team. When the pandemic shelter-in-place mandates took effect in March of 2020, the MIT Club of Northern California sprung into action, hosting 161 free virtual events that grew worldwide MIT Club membership and raised nearly $33,000 in donations for COVID relief. We recognize the initiative and exceptional performance of the MIT Club of Northern California COVID Warriors. For the MIT class of 1970, the 50th reunion was seen as an opportunity to push reunion giving to new heights. And they came through. In total, they inspired 421 donors to raise over $5.6 million. That number included 19 new donors, 59 leadership donors, and 206 renewals to the 1861 circle. When the dust settled, they set a new class dollar record and achieved nearly 62% participation. For their laudable semi-centennial achievement, we celebrate the MIT Class of 1970 50th Reunion Planning and Gift Committees. The coronavirus pandemic inspired an outpouring of support from MIT alumni, and none more impressive than that from our MIT alumni groups in Hong Kong, Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, and Taiwan. They joined forces and assembled a volunteer force of 40 alumni who raised funds, sourced PPE materials and manufacturers, addressed legal issues, and ensured the safe shipment of much needed PPE to MIT for distribution in Massachusetts. With gratitude and admiration, we recognize the outstanding achievements of the MIT Greater China Alumni Donation Drive. Teamwork works a tip of the great dome to all of these winning teams. Our final Bronze Beaver Award honors a man whose broad and deep volunteer service spans more than 45 years with no sign of letting up. That service has been difference making. During his years as chair of the Cardinal and Gray Society, he expanded the group's outreach and develop programming that continues to attract crowds. When he served as chair of his class's 50th reunion committee, he advocated for innovative changes that strengthened marketing and outreach and led to record-breaking event attendance. Add to that his service to the MIT clubs of Boston and Palm Beach and his work on the Educational Council, and you have a man who epitomizes all that the Bronze Beaver represents. Our final honoree, Theodore H. Corlitz, Class of 56. Congratulations and thank you to Ted, his fellow Bronze Beaver Award recipients, Charlene and Edie, and all our honorees. From first year orientation to commencement day, MIT students are part of what I like to call an unusual concentration of unusual talent. But as you all know, the MIT community encompasses more than just talent. We're also known for our curiosity, energy, and irrepressible drive to make the world better by taking on the biggest challenges we can find. MIT alumni possess skills and knowledge of immense value and you share these rich resources widely. You are problem solvers, innovators, and compassionate, caring leaders. Everyone from prospective and current MIT students to reunion classes and clubs to countless individuals and communities around the world benefit from your commitment to service. As our society grapples with major global challenges, you remain an unyielding force for good, carrying forward the MIT spirit and helping lead the Institute into the future. So once again, 
On behalf of everyone at MIT, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, President Reif. We've come now to the conclusion of our Alumni Awards Ceremony during the Alumni Leadership Conference. This event is the highlight of the year for me because it's such a vivid reminder of why we're here, what our work together has accomplished, the remarkable power of volunteerism, and the caliber of people that constitute the MIT alumni community. The selfless dedication of each of you, day in and day out, is truly inspirational. Congratulations once again to all of our honorees, and we'll see you again next year, fingers crossed, in person. Greetings from San Diego. I know you said to dress for a celebration, so he is here in his fabulous future genius uh, MIT onesie. Uh, believe it or not, this is my very first selfie video, so hopefully it'll go okay. I think you can see how modest I've always been about my MIT education. Like some of us, I wear MIT paraphernalia every day. Uh, in fact, I have several different hats that I wear, whether I'm in the office, whether I'm with friends, whether I'm traveling or I'm with clients. Happy to be with you this evening and happy to share with you my previous awards. It means so much to me to be recognized by my fellow MIT alums. I love volunteering with the Educational Council because I love feeling connected to the MIT family. Working with other alumni to support MIT is a tremendously rewarding experience. I'm really so thankful to be a part of this community every single day. It is my honor to serve on the MIT Alumni Association Selection Committee. MIT has given me so much and opened so many doors for me, so I volunteer because I want others to benefit in the same way I did. It's a pleasure and privilege to give back to MIT and to have worked with all of the dedicated volunteers. Huge shout out to the amazing team at the Alumni Association where their support is invaluable. I really enjoyed working on a project that celebrates the amazing achievements of MIT women. I'm so honored to be receiving the McVicker Award and I'm really proud of the work that I have done with the MIT LGBT Alumni Association. I look forward to giving back to the MIT family for many more years. I do this volunteer work with so much passion that is really a surprise uh, to be recognized. I'm so proud to be part of our vibrant MIT community and to play a small role in helping MIT's mission of engineering solutions to the world's problems. And thank you all the Greater China alumni for your efforts to help MIT and the community at this difficult time. Thank you for this honor. Many classmates jumped in to plan a virtual reunion that was truly fun. Thank you to all. Congratulations to the other award winners also. Woohoo! But this award isn't really just about me. It's also in recognition of my many fellow MIT alumni and members of MIT who have guided and advised me over the years. Thank you, and please think about joining the Education Council. It's a lot of fun. We're making a better world, one Tim at a time. As an alum, I love giving back to the school, a school I'm so passionate about. Go MIT. Thank you to the MIT Alumni Association for this incredible honor. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and for more information on how to connect with the MIT Alumni Association, please visit our website.